That's plugged in, isn't it? This, ladies and gentlemen, is our outside garden room. Doesn't it look absolutely amazing? The only problem we've got is the side of this little bit of garden down here. Look at that, it looks absolutely horrific. The other week I put this water butt in to catch the water that drains off of the roof. All I've got to do now is sort this little bit of uh, garden out that we've got running down the side of it and I'm going to be doing it on a budget and I'm going to be doing it all in one take. I am not going to edit this video at all. It's going to be a one hit wonder. What you see is what you get. So, hopefully everything's going to be going according to plan. I've got everything set up, ready to go. I've got shovels and spades and my bin and rakes and strimmers and everything I think I'm going to be needing. So, let's get fired in. I'm also going to be trying to do this within an hour. It should only take me an hour, I think, to do this. So, it's going to be completely unedited, like I've just said. So expect the unexpected, and we'll see how we get on. Let me just walk you through what I am going to be doing though. So I've got my strimmer. I'm going to strim all this grass back. As you can see, there's a few nettles here as well. I've got some hardcore that I dumped uh, around here from when we did uh, our artificial grass. So I've got some of that that I'm going to have to spread along under there. That's as water, but like I've just said that we've got uh, that I put in last week. There we go, that is now collecting the water off the roof instead of it instead of it just draining down onto this little bit of soil under here, which was doing it no favours whatsoever. It is still pretty wet as you can see, and we've had no rain for about 10 days, which for this year is amazing because it has done nothing but rain. Whenever you want to do something, it rains, and it also rained a little bit this morning. So Let's try and get it done because that sky's looking pretty ominous. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to strim it back, sort out that hardcore. I've got some weed proof membrane that I'm going to be laying down all the way. I'm starting it also from the edge of this decking that we've got done. Did a decking video recently for his log cabin, so check that out as well. So it's going to start from here. There we go. And it's going to run all the way down there. Uh, strim it all back like I said get the membrane down and then what I've got that we're going to be putting on top is what we put down here recently is some uh, landscaping bark chippings so I've got three bags of that from Wix for 30 quid absolute bargain then I also get my 10% off that as well so 27 pound for them three bags uh, so there we go if you've not got a Wix trade card get one because you save yourself a hell of a lot of money also this weekend there's 15% off so every now and again they'll chuck the 15% off and you can save that little bit extra so let's get fired in first thing I'm going to do is strim it all back so I'm going to stick you on top of the wheelie bin there we go let me make sure that you can see and that you're level so let's get this strimmer out and let's strim all down the side of here let's go ladies and genitalial men got my strimmer got a new uh, bit of string in it that's a little bit long but that'll just sort itself out so here we go let's do this move them bricks out way, them boulders and hard bits of concrete I can bury them in a minute let's give this a strim. Let's try not to go through that cable because that uh, wouldn't be a cleverest thing in the world you've ever done, would it, numb nuts? Right, go.
trying to sort this cable out. I want you to be able to see me, but I don't want to be able to, uh, I don't want to be cutting through that. So let's just move that a little bit. Carry on, baby. Throw it anyway. Yeah, I just singed it a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> Disaster averted. So there we go. Nearly died, but I didn't. So, bonus. I'm still here. Carry on. Yeah, you've done it once, dipshit, don't do it again. short so let's just replace that with some spares that I've caught just trying to ram it in sometimes you have to be a bit more delicate than that don't you hold on <coughs> spit on the end on it just like that viral video that's going around at the minute oh I'm so funny so fun I'm done with kids just don't want to go in a little bit more finesse, I think. Get in, you steward. There we we'll go. Should be able to just finish this off now. I've about done anyway, so. finished I've avoided death all I'm gonna do now is get my rake rake all this grass up chuck it in my brown bin just there rake this little bit of hardcore back we'll drop the membrane down and uh, then we're flying out we? we're cooking with gas so I'm gonna drop you back on here just whilst I rake this Hey, baby. How you doing? Who's mum? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right.
have a look at them, see what you think. If you think they're any good, we'll get some. We'll get some. Imagine they'd want to, to be fair. It's that simple. It takes about six months to find four stars. Your test with Richard, we could be paying you. Why would they? Hey? Yeah, they look good then. Yeah, they look good. So that's all raked back. Uh, there we go. Next thing to do, like I said, is sort out this hard cone. I'm just going to spread it all over the top of there. Uh, and then we'll get that membrane down. Shouldn't take too long to do this. I'll put you there. I don't know what you can see. Can you see anything whatsoever? There we go. Shit. There's my head on that. Oh well. Pencil. That I borrowed from Ikea. Well, he's just... Some biggish boulders, oh, not boulders, but bits of concrete and stones and what have you under here. So I'll just probably just blast off that rake one more time before I decide to uh, get that membrane down. So there we go. That ain't too bad, is it? Doodly do, let's get that rake out again. Right there. Get the rake. Some more rubble out of the way. There we go. That is that done. Bob's your uncle. As far as you land. Absolutely. Flangetastic. So there we go. Look at that. We're 15 minutes in as well. Done all that in 15 minutes, so next thing, drop this membrane that I've got. I'm gonna have to stick to here because when I built this log cabin concrete base, I didn't come all the way to the end of my concrete base. 
there you can just see it and I wish I had because water was coming down running down laying on that concrete base and then going underneath even though I've got a membrane under it as well as it was still just getting wet so I've had to stick this damp proof course in just to the bottom of his cabin just there just to stop any water sitting on top of that concrete slab uh, so I'll just pull that back I'll put the uh, weed membrane on top of that start from there and we'll just roll it out the membrane I got is if you've seen me other videos you'll have seen it on there got it off of Amazon it was 40 quid for this roll and it's 50 meters long one meter wide it opens up to two so it's two by 50 meters it's absolutely amazing stuff all i'm going to do drop it on the floor and then roll it out i've got loads of this left i've used it under where we did our uh, artificial grass also used it on the underside of that bark that we've got some landscaping bark that I did on this side there you go you can just see I just need to hide that when I titivate it all up around there so I'm just gonna roll it out then I'll pin it down I've got some pins somewhere in me I'm here we go so we'll cut off what we don't need uh, we'll un undo it and then we're good to go. So let me dump you back on there. Carry on, Richard. Just what? Well, in fact, I'll take you back down here. And I'll cut this little bit off here. Just right up to the old uh, water boat. So let me get my knife. Go there, a knife. It's not a knife. Depending on your age, you'll know that reference. Try not to cut myself. I've already had one near disaster today where I could have electrocuted myself. Well, I'll try not to cut myself this time. There we go. Whip this bit off. Bosh. So that's that off. Done with. So we'll put that there. I'll sort that out after this video. So like I said, it does, which side are we on here? It does open up. There we go. So I'll get it the full width. Width, I spoke with a g down here. And then happy days. So where can I put you? Well, you can see it. Let's see if we can get you on top of here. Without too many things in your way. Is that any good for you? Sat on a big fat juicy butt. Can you see? Can you? Can you? Can you see? There we go, that's the best you're gonna get, so stop moaning. Hopefully you won't fall off. Ba -ba -ba. Get it up on that size. Get it up this size. And I'll just fold over what I don't want.
for that, all the way to the edges. There we go. There we go. And now what I'll do is get some pins. And I'll just pin it down. And that goes. It's mainly for the uh, artificial grass. So you can pin your grass down if you need to. But I'll just use them on here. Stick it right the pin. Stick that weed behind it. There we go. I'm not going to put loads in. It's just to uh, really hold it in place a little bit. Put the weight of the uh, bark should prevent it from uh, coming up. But three bags will be more than enough. More than enough to uh, complete all this side. Might even have some spare to go around the edge of the shed, but we'll worry about that when we need to worry about that. There we go. Quickly drop some more in. Turn some of the camera out. Not spacing them out, just guesstimating where to put them. It's not really too critical. Like I said, it's just to hold it in place. It shouldn't go anywhere. Anywhere for you. Anything, molester a kangaroo, anything, even a cat poo, not that again. Right, a couple more in. If you notice, we've got some meshing just around all the way along the bottom of these conifers. That's because when we got his little dog, Brian, he was only really small and he still is only small as little Bichon. Love of his life. We didn't want him escaping, so I nailed them all the way to the bottom of there. And he's never got out once. We've held him captive ever since we stole him away from his parents. Let's drop another one in. And if you're wondering why we called him Brian, it's because we love Family Guy. So we've named him after Brian, off a of Family Guy. So there you go. He's white and we used to, he used to have a red collar, but he doesn't have it anymore because it worn out. So he used to be white with a red collar and he literally looked like Brian off a of Family Guy. Different species of animal, well not animal, different brand of dog. I don't know what Brian is off a of Family Guy. If you know what Brian is off a of Family Guy, Drop a message in, I'll let me know. Let's finish off sticking some more pegs in here. I've about done, I've probably only put 10 in, something like that. One in there. Whoa, whoa, shit, you're not on a roller coaster, don't worry. Every time we're just going a little bit wrong right there. Try to sort the guy pot out. There we go. If I get one more in, so that's where it's going to finish. I'm going to put an edging board in next along here. So, uh, that's where the board's going to finish on. May as well just fold that back to there. I'll drop one in about six inch away from where the edging board is. Tap that in. There we go. I'll do the same just here. Edging board. There I should do. That's that done. Next job 
is edging board. So there we go, the membrane's down. Let's fold that back. There we go, all that grass will just die off. So any smart ass wants to come on with a comment saying you shouldn't have done that, you should dig it all up. Well, I don't care. There we go, right, edging board. Let's get that bad boy. I've got some scrap bits of wood that my dad brought me because we've got a log burner inside the house. Check out the video from when I cleaned his log burner. So if you've got a log burner, I'll show you how to clean it out using them, one of them uh, cleaners that you can get off Amazon. 50 quid I think that cleaner were, and I'll be using it again soon. I also need to replace the fire bricks in it. So get ready to check that video out when I'm going to be replacing the fire bricks in our log burner. Hopefully it's going to make a difference this year because there is some cracks and chips and One's broken out to repair it with some fire cement, uh, but I'm going to be using that for kindling. I know there's paint on it, but I don't really care. Uh, but what I've got is this bit of board. It doesn't match my decking, but I'm not too fussed on that. So all I'm going to do, shit, try not to break my neck to begin with, get that edging board right up to the end of there there we go i'm just going to mark that i'm going to mark it cut it knock some stakes in the opposite side uh, where the membrane is uh, screw it to it and done and then we'll be ready to drop that bark on so let me get my pencil back out of my pocket there we go one of ikea's finest is it just me or when you go to ikea do you have to borrow a handful or a pocket full of pencils seeing as you can't get it from screw fix anymore because it's all gone dinky coal so let's mark the back side of that board that looks about right and i'll do go inside the shed and we'll cut it alexa stop Leads on mucker. See what he's doing. Excuse the mess in the shed, but it's always a mess in my shed. Because it's a shed. Right, what's that loin? Hopefully, which way? Let's flip that around so I've got the short end going onto my bench because I've got less room on this side because of all the crap that I've got on. My thoids. We haven't got sand. Bags of sand, aren't I'm going to be uh, sorting out my putting green, the artificial grass on that. I've neg neglected it over the years and it's a bit of a mess at the minute. Right, let's try and do this. One handed. Shouldn't really advise doing this one handed, but. Here we go! Sure, it's one of them two, but I'll take them both outside just in case it's not. Right. What I'm also going to need is some stakes, and I think I should have some knocking about somewhere. So, that is the edging board done. Just like vets. There we go, cut to size, ready to go. Let's get some uh, stakes so we can knock them into the ground. What have we got on here? We've got anything I can just bang straight in without having to mess about. I could probably chop that in half with my axe. Let's get my axe. Da -da 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 -da. Where are you, Fiskers? So is my big one? Nope. And then we've got the Fiscus X7. Let's cut, oh, try and attempt to coot this. It's all recording, ain't you, baby? Let me just double check that mush. There we go. This is the Fiscus. If you're not, if you're not into ax, if you're not into axes, the Fiscus range of axe are probably the best you can get. Well, that didn't go quite according to plan. Neither did that, or that. Well, this is a bust. Remember to look like a dipshit here. We're going to get another bit. Eat your 
see. I'm not editing it. This is all straight off. Uh, what else we got? Some smaller bits. Let's see if we can chop that up. That might do. I'm not going to go too deep, have I? So the wax is. What I could do is I could just use them, couldn't I, really? Cut them down a little bit and I can smash them in. They look like they're treated. So they should last a little bit long. Longer than untreated. So I don't need my axe. Waffling on about how good my axe was and I'm not going to be using it. So. All right. Take these off. Come off. Try not to stab myself. There we go. Look a bit too long. I will have to nibble a bit off. Oh, will come out a bit a little bit easier than the other. How long shall I do them? About that long. So. should be plenty. And do it all along the same length. That's that. Should be enough. Right. Screws can run in the pocket. I'll carry them, need them. Oh, and I'll also get the old Gary Neville. And everything else because it's magnetic from when I were a scaffold and it's stuck to it. So I'll jump that in my pocket. There we go, let's get these and let's uh, get that edging board in. So, what I'm thinking is, I'll run the old edging board the same height as what the decking is, just there, which looks round about perfect as is. Uh, and then all I'll do, drop my level on, see how level we are, so the back end needs lifting a bit. All I'll do now is get my stakes, drop my stakes in, one there, one there. Get it level, screw it in. Bish bash bosh, next thing to do would be to get that bark down. So let's get these stakes in. Let me just make sure actually that that is running. In line with that deck in here, probably just wants itching out that way. Fraction to probably there. How does that look? Better? better right i'll drop you on my decking laid this decking right on top of that concrete the concrete slab that we did when we did as uh, base for his outside building garden room log cabin whatever you want to call it uh so check that video out on my channel if you aren't already so many videos to watch now finally got to a thousand subscribers last week as well i'm also going to do a video on the revenue that i've earned bloody hell after getting my thousand subscribers i was quite pleased and amazed as to how much i've earned in a week i didn't actually think i would get anything from the videos i've got on but i have so there we go all right so let's get these stakes in nothing too fancy all i'm gonna do is just beat the life out of it and knock it all the way in as long as I don't hit any roots off these conifers, which I don't think I will, everything should be good to go. It helps having soft ground as well. I know it's summer at the minute, but we've had nothing but rain all over winter. Plus the ground around here is very sandy underneath. You dig about two or three foot down, it's just sand. Now my mate who lives 
about a mile and a half away, Dave. Dirty Dave. He, uh, his ground where, his li where he lives is very clear. So there you go. It's amazing what a few miles can make. Hopefully I'm not hitting any stones knocking this one in. You never know what's I've buried underneath here. There did used to be two trees in this garden. Three in fact. But uh, we got rid of them because they were pear trees and they just made an absolute bloody mess when they used to start dropping off. But there we go, right. The stakes have been beat to a pulp into the ground. Next thing to do, get that level. It's level with the top of the decking board just there. So I'll get it level this end on the level. And then I'll drop a screw in straight through the front one there. Once I know it's level and then we'll just drop some more in. Just to uh, stop it from going anywhere else. So let's dig them up a little bit. There we go. Drop the old Gary Neville on. Get a screw ready. Make sure that just perfect. Oh, right, let's get that to the height that we need. Oh shit. That's gonna be close. Right. Bang on. Absolutely. Look at that. Oh my bloody god. What an absolute leg end. Let's drop some more screws in there. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be nearly done. I thought I'd pick four screws up. I did. Drop one. <laughs> found you. I found you. So there we go. That's that little bit done. So. We nearly completed it. 40 minutes this has taken up to you. That's all. 40 minutes. Right, I'll fold that back to there. I'll get some nails, I've got some pins in my pocket. Oh, I'll do, I'll just nail that up onto the bottom of there, there we go. Alright, so let's get some of that. Let me just see, make sure you can see. Might be a bit. Well, let's level you up. Let's level you up, lad. Come on, let's level you up. Or lass. Or whatever you want to be called. Better not upset everybody or anybody. With my male chauvinistic ways. Gotta include everybody nowadays, aren't you? Even if you not might not think that it's right or wrong. Everybody has feelings. Let's just uh, push that down. Oops. Get some nails in. Obviously, I can't go all the way through with this nail because the nail's uh, longer than the width of the board. So I'm just tapping them in, then bending them over. And that should prevent that from uh, coming off more than enough. So I'll tap one in there as well. Connor. Connor. <clears throat> so there we go. Look at that. Looks absolutely amazing. Done it. I think it does anyway. So 
that done, membrane down, edging board down, next thing to do is to lift and get and empty out those landscaping bark chipping bags and they are heavier than what you would think. So let me stick you on top of brown bin again. I'll dump you there. I'll try not to uh, pop a disc while I pick one of these up. Here we go. Oh God. Shine a light. All I'm gonna do is drop that there. Oh my God. I'm coming back for you, baby. I'm coming back for you, baby. Here we go. Right, let's fire one of these open. You get 100 litres inside these bags. Bark chippings. There you go. Uh, they'll stop weed growth. So when you're to thinking that uh, or anybody wants to make comments saying you're still going to get weeds still there, Captain. Well, you even said it. Suppressors weed growth. There you go. Beds and borders it can be used. Uh, wear suitable gardening gloves. Real men don't wear gloves, kid. Let's cope with the burns. After. Right. Let me put you somewhere where you can see. Which should be there. Can you see? Yes. Right, so let's empty this one out and spread it all about. Probably tell you to wear gloves because it's probably got some sort of treatment on it. You can actually smell it, to be fair. Uh, but I'm hard as nails. These hands have been worn in over many years, my friend. Uh, let's try and disguise. Fold that in around the edges. There we go. Uh, don't want to see the membrane too much underneath. Uh, Side of the uh, word a bit. This is obviously going to deteriorate over time, the chippings, but just be a case of getting some more, adding some on it, and away you go. So, yeah, let's first bag down. Try and hide as much of the uh, membrane as possible. There we go. We've been going 46 minutes up to yet. Unedited. I'm just going to release this video, drop it straight on the tube, see what happens, see what snarky comments I get, if any, or some really good positive ones. Hopefully. If you want to send a message, send a positive one because it's not very nice if you don't. There's no need to be an arsehole. So let's get another bag. Drop that on, I'll come back for you. I'll empty that one out as well. Mm -hmm. 
Where's my rake? I think I'll put it back down here. I could probably do that with my foot actually. There we go. Didn't rest by end. Keyboard warriors. There we go. Such a quick simple job this is laying this bark out it makes a fantastic transformation to your garden it's going to make a really big difference to the side of it what it was before might not be everybody's cup of char but for 30 quid and an hour's work Absolutely banging. So there we go, two thirds of the way through, 50 minutes in, less than an hour. Get that other bag, we'll dump that on. And then we're good to go. How many times have I said we're good to go? I always seem to be saying that a lot. I've noticed that when I edited the video I'm doing at the minute. We're good to go, we're good to go. Go ahead. Hey, bag bum. Can you barely touch your bum? Well, I can a minute, fat lad. Put some real lumber on. Let's fire this one up, then. have some of this spare actually to be able to do outside of my shed but it don't look like it use it all up nearly well I have well, nearly about it Plus, because this grass wouldn't, it wasn't growing anyway. Because, yeah, we get as garden is south facing, but you got this hedge, you got this cabin, you got that fence there. So it wasn't really growing. Uh, tried to think of a few things to do. This is the easiest, fastest, simplest, and cheapest option. Like I said earlier, it might not be for everybody, but. It works for us. Let's drop some of these. Yeah, we'll go. Fill all that edging in. Yeah, 
I've got loads, loads I can spread about. Start all this uh, membrane. Best I can. And the glorious thing is, you get it year round. It's cheap, 30 pounds. Can you see my butt? Put some more up around here. Put some up back of that as well. Weed it. Just gonna weed it. So there we go, that is done, I think. Look at that. See where we're at with you, time-wise. 53 minutes. Let me show you the finished product. So that's my edging board. There you go, I'll drop some paint on the same colour as that. I am going to be doing a video where I'm comparing some value uh, supermarket, well it's not supermarket is it, it's uh, what do you call it, homeware store paint against some branded, some Cuprinol paint, so check that video out, I also did two comparisons on Cuprinol which was the shades and the ducks back paint, this is ducks back again but I'm going to be comparing it against uh, valued hardware it's a hardware store paint which is wix they're valued branded one and it's like half the price as what the cuprinol is so i'm going to be painting it one of those colors as along with the kindle inbox just there and also some fence panels that i've got in so i'm going to be doing a comparison on that so i will paint that so you yeah, it'll everything will just blend in that gray so let me just walk you over the top here here we go, 54 minutes, we're up to 55 minutes to uh, to do this little project, and there we go, it's finished. And we'll go all around the water bog, around that slab just there. As you can see, it's all done, completed. Looks good to me, I don't know about you, want to leave a comment in the messages below, comments below, please do so, also please like and subscribe if you haven't already so garden project done finished completed within an hour and costing 30 pounds that's all it's cost to do this 30 english quid be about 43 dollars something like that probably about 55 canadian right there i don't know why i said it right there because canadians don't sound like they right there they sound like this man like you how you're doing eh? top of the morning boo yeah that what they sound like? I don't know. Who cares? But yeah, job done. Job finished within an hour. So that's it. We're all done. We're finished. Fully completed. Like I just said. So check out my channel. If you haven't already, please do like and subscribe. And join me for some more fun-filled videos. I might even do another one of these videos where I just do a project and smash it uh, within an hour, one hour garden, one hour DIY projects. So yeah, check it out, the wife's there, look. Hot mama, can you see her hiding behind that washing? Right, so I'll see you later. Ta-da, bye-bye, see you bye-bye, bye. -bye. bye.